think it's the biggest win Ireland, Irish cricket's ever had. I think uh, he obviously had the win against Pakistan, but in terms of a one-off win, I think it's the biggest. Also, the Pakistan game put us through the group, so that's a, it's a bigger win in terms of, of that, but as a one-off win, I, I think it's the biggest we've had. And, and one of the best we've had is, a, is, well, it's the biggest chase in the World Cup, it's probably the biggest chase that, that Ireland's had in, in a long time, and especially in front of full members. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's the best, best victory Ireland for Irish cricket in, in history for me. It's it still hasn't sunk in, you know. Just myself and Cusy just we just took took a chance, you know. And we, as as Cody just said, we, we took the power play at 31 overs, and I mean we took a chance and it came off. Um, I mean and that, and that set us up for seven and over for 15 overs, I mean, or whatever it was. So yeah, I mean you, you can't put really yourself off in any one day cricket as you've just seen, you know. Strange things can happen. Um, uh, well, I mean, personally, I just knew if I stayed there and, and, and got, got a few boundaries away, um, we could get on top of English bowlers as, as teams previously in this tournament have done. We've shown glimpses of what we can do. We, we threatened to do it in, in previous games as well, like against Bangladesh. We, we should have seen that home, but we've shown today what, what depth we've got in their batting. And I'll say we've got more to come. We've got still the top order to fire yet in, in the tournament. So, yeah, look, we, we're, we've enjoyed this moment. We're going to enjoy it. This victory and let it sink in. But uh, yeah, as I said, we're going to have to prepare for another game on Sunday. And if we play to our potential and play the way we can, then, then there's no reason why we can't give them a, a good run for the money and, and hope we get a positive result from the game. Uh, it's obviously the fastest in all time World Cup cricket. I think it, there's not many games where, where a team will come in and a player will come in where 11 or 111 for 5 with 24 overs gone, chasing 320 odd and knock them off with, with a few balls to spare. I think it's, it's obviously an unbelievable knock. This is the best knock I've seen. And uh, yes, it's, it's got to be ranked as probably one of the best, if not the best, World Cup maths. Did it even eclipse us playing in the back garden or not? Um, where, where it's hitting out of the garden was out. So, um, no, that, I mean, that's, it's, it's, I, I, I think anyone is going to struggle to beat that innings, to be honest. Um, and, I mean, I'll take a few points for that, for a few reps. Um, but, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say that all night. You know, I mean, 150 balls in the World Cup in front of a billion people. Uh, on their life against England, I mean, it, it doesn't get any better. Beating England in any form of the game, any, any sport really, not a World Cup, was also a fantastic occasion. And I'm sure there are a lot of people back home watch that game as it was a bang the desk game, and, and we gave them something to, something to smile about. We let them down on Friday night, but we gave them something to smile about back home, and there's a lot of people who get behind us from there. It's great to, it's great to put a smile on their faces and, and really show what we've been threatening to do for a while and, and really put back up. Performance. We've believed for a long time now that we can we can do things like that and to actually to actually go out there and do it is a, a different story than, than thinking that or talking about it. But you can't. It's not something that you can just get overnight. It's that belief. We've built up that belief over a couple of years now, and we firmly believe that we can beat anyone on our day. And and if we if we click in all the partners of the game, which which we know we have to at this tournament, then then we can pull off results like this. After this, will the hair have to stay like it is? Um. I don't know, it's an interesting question. My girlfriend doesn't really rate it, so um, she, she's begging for me to shave it off, so I, I, I might just hold, hold that for a couple more weeks. So a hair question, as a member of the ginger fraternity, I feel abandoned and betrayed, but clearly it's, it's been some success. Does this herald the future of pink-haired cricket for all teams around the world? Can England learn from the Irish, <laughs> Irish team? Is that, is that what they're missing? Possibly, yeah. <laughs> and I was, I mean, it's, it's, but it's, it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm still speechless to be honest, it, I can't really answer your question. Um, no, it's, I mean, I, I can just say it's a tremendous day and we're all very proud, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good night and we'll, we'll celebrate as long and as loudly as we can. The ICC's made a decision, it's kind of out of our hands, but, but uh, if you ask any associate or anyone who's worked with the ICC High Development Programs, it's a pretty disappointing move for them in terms of what's, what's happened, like it's, the cutting of teams to 10 teams is, is pretty disappointing in terms of that. As to what happens in April in terms of the qualification process, we're going to have to wait and see. If there is one, I think personally I think there at least has to be one. If they're going to have a 10 teams or whatever, there has to be some kind of qualification tournament. If, if you're not, it could be the death of a lot of countries if you cut it to 10 teams, you don't let them have a qualification process, which to me wouldn't be a World Cup if you're, if you're cutting out teams like that. So. Personal point of view, it's disappointing as 10 teams, but we've got to wait and see what happens in April in terms of the decision, in terms of the qualification process.